Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Facebook, not Facebook Live, our Q&A <laughs> session. It's a long day. Our Q&A sessions, and we are here. It's day three of the summit, so thank you all for participating in the summit, for listening, for watching the videos, for feedback, et cetera. We are here for yet another Q&A with one of our amazing presenters, Alana, and this is our third one today. I'll get this, and our last one today, and then we have six i think now tomorrow or five two, we have a lot three, tomorrow five tomorrow for those yeah for those yeah. of you who um aaron reed's video is live today but aaron lee will be doing her q a yet tomorrow we haven't posted that yet remember to do that tracy we haven't <laughs> posted that one yet so we will post that one because aaron just cleared up her schedule because she wanted to come in and do a q a for you guys so welcome alana thank you i am heather and this is tracy we've introduced ourselves so much we don't need to do it again um alana tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. I was going to say, I, however, <laughs> have not been introducing myself all day. Um, my name is Alana, and I own the scrapbook shop located in Listowel, Ontario, is where we are. That's always my introduction. <laughs> so the second question is, where are you? Listowel, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Yeah, because we do have Canada. Ontario does exist in other places. Like there's cities in Ontario. Yes, Listowel also exists in other places as well. So, yeah. excellent. The question: Are you a scrapbooker? Obviously, by your name, card maker, or both? Um, actually, I am a mixed media artist first, scrapbooker mm -hmm. second, and then I do cards because I have to, and. <laughs> my biggest thing is like i mixed media is my love i yeah it's my number one thing <laughs> i have a question for you on that one because i hear the term from like um coming from different places so i do color painter mm -hmm. color pencil artists and my teachers in mixed media what do you consider mixed media so technically speaking the definition of mixed media is anything that is two different mediums so if you're making a layout, for instance, with um, with more than just paper. So if you're doing a pa like paper and ribbon, technically speaking, that is considered mixed media. Now, when you delve more into the arts and into like when people say, hey, I'm going to take a mixed media class. Typically what that means is that they're going to be using paint or they're going to be using a paste or they're going to be using some form of wet medium as well as dry mediums. Hmm. So. Okay. I mean, because that, that's kind of where I saw mixed media. It's where it's dry and then it's given like the resin look and that kind of thing. And that's right. Yep. So very three dimensional is usually yes. what mixed media is. Good to know. So you hadn't thought to ask that question. We just learned something. There you go. Um, how, how did you get started in this wonderful avenue of path of scrapbooking and mixed media? That's a loaded question, you guys. <laughs> we uh, don't have all day, though, just, you know. <laughs> I know. So I, I stole my mom's camera when I was four, and she caught me. And, well, I was three or four. And she caught me and she told me to not touch it again, which we all know. Psst, yeah, right. <laughs> so I waited till she was in the kitchen and then I manhandled it again. I was very careful with it. And she actually didn't even know that I had used it until she got the film developed. And hers, it was a Nikon camera is what she had. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a, it was an SLR. So it was heavy. Mm -hmm. And I took pictures of my mom is what I did. And she was in the kitchen and I took pictures of the, cause we actually still have them. Um, I took pictures of the ornaments that she had these, um, what's it called? Blue mountain glass dish mm -hmm. on the coffee table. I took pictures of that too. <laughs> and then she got them developed and she's all like, what, where did these come from? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward. And in high school, I was known as the shutterbug cause I had my own camera now. 
And then fast forward a little bit further and I was introduced to scrapbooking because I needed something to do with my photos. It wasn't just stick them in a box and organize them. And then fast forward a little bit more and I had graduated college. I had um, two colleges actually. And I was, we had moved from Guelph, Ontario, which is a town of about, you know, 500,000 people to Listable, which is at the time there was about 5,000 people as opposed to, you know, 500,000. And it was a culture shock to say the least. I considered myself a small town girl, but not that small <laughs> of a small. And I mean, you got used to having a 24 hour garage or like a grocery store. I mean, being open. So I had a new baby. I was new to town. I was angry as all angry could be and was in reintroduced by a girlfriend who I had met through my church, actually. And she had posted to Facebook about this. She found this catalog and I was like, what? I'm like, what is this? So I Googled it and I was like, oh my God, you scrapbook. And so now her and I hung out more <laughs> than what we did before. And yeah, she invited me along to a few meetings or a few events that they were doing. And I was like, wow, like I was just like, oh my gosh, I can do things with my photos now. And it wasn't just stick them in a box and look at them every once in a while. Right. It was, yeah, it was amazing. It was so much fun. And then my husband was so lovely. He actually create, helped me create a scrapbook room and my psychologist at the time, <laughs> it's so funny. She told me that I needed to find an outlet. I needed to find something that I could hang out with people <laughs> and I could do something. <laughs> I needed to get out of the house. I'm like, cool. And then I went to go see her a couple weeks later. And I was like, so I started scrapbooking. <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, that doesn't seem like a very, um, like, it doesn't seem like a very social thing to do. And I was like, I don't think you know what scrapbooking is. <laughs> <laughs> because here we are, here are. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So then fast forward a little bit more and I found the, well, it was called Scrapbook Shop and it was located in Mild May, Ontario, which is about half an hour from Listowel. And she owned the store for, a, well, by the time I got to know her, she, she'd owned the store for a couple of years and they, about... 10 years, I think it was, after they had been running it, she sent out a mass email to everybody saying the building was up for sale, the business was up for sale, and if anybody's interested in buying it, please let us know. And everywhere I went for the next two, two and a half years, every event that I went to, every crop that I attended, Alana, you should buy that. Alana, you should buy that. Alana, you should, why don't you buy the scrapbook shop? Alana, you should buy the scrapbook shop. I'm like, you guys are nuts. I've got a great job. It's, it's fine. It's all great. It's fine. Well, then she sent us out an email about two and a half years later that said the building was sold and they were closing the business. I showed up at her door the next day and offered her money to buy it. <laughs> well, she said no, actually. And we negotiated that I would actually buy her business plan, not the business. So we rebranded as the scrapbook shop. We adopted a lot of the same principles that she did. And we came up with other ideas that she, things that she always wanted to do, but weren't able and we ran with it. Awesome. So awesome. I quit my corporate job and here we are. Well, somebody on Facebook <laughs> says, so glad you bought it. So it must be a fan of yours. Somebody Thank on Facebook. For you. So, excellent. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about somebody loved the little gift book. So tell us a little bit about the project that you did for the summit. Your oh, yes. Aren't they so fun? Oh, my gosh. So I took a class to learn how to do them. And the one that I learned how to do was this one. So it's very flat. It's very, you know, there's not much to it. It's very simple to do. 
And I'm like, you know what? This would be really cool to make it three-dimensional for tea bags. So it literally took me all afternoon to figure out these score marks. The little dimensions, yep. <laughs> like, it, it was redonkulous. I I went through so much paper. <laughs> I believe it. But we call it. Like, oh, it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But the fun thing about it is that now I have them, and so do you. So you can mass produce these. And um, yeah, they were a lot of fun, weren't they? So on the inside is where you put the tea bag. Is that it? So that's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't even see the inside. I produced your video, but I didn't see that part. So there you go. Oh. That's all right. That's a cool mm -hmm. idea for the tea drinker and for someone who wants to. Mm -hmm. And you can put other things than just tea bags in it, great, right? Great um, stocking stuffer. Yeah, just gonna exactly. say whether it's hot chocolate, whether it's gift cards, whether it's I don't know, like there's yep. so many things you well, can earrings. You know, just some yes, earrings going, yes. hang on, you could put jewelry, you know? Yeah, you really Anything. could. And the fun thing is so when you're when you're doing something or when you're doing this specific one, I mean, because it's got the three um, it's got the extra score lines versus if you're doing the flat one without the extra score lines. So this one is the one you want to put your, your gift cards in. Okay. Because when you assemble this one, you have the extra spacing and this you install when you, where my, oh, there it is by putting your bone folder in it. And then you take the adhesive off. So you're putting a gap okay. in it. That's right. So it allows that gap to stay, right? So it'll hold your, it'll, it, it actually holds everything really, really well. And I love the idea of putting earrings in it. That's a great idea. <laughs> There's a lot of little mm -hmm. things that you can put in that you think of, huh? but that's a great stocking right. stuffer or for the person you don't know anything to give to. Yeah. Even a hostess gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually very good hostess right. gift. Yes. I mean, you again, can make I see now you can your little minds going. You could make your own little spice mix and then put it in a little bag. Yes, and yes. yes. Exactly. So many things. I could think, like you said, spice mix, like the Epicure. You know, I'm. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, there's so many Probably. things you can Probably. do. Yes. Oh, I ate it. <laughs> so I in the in the video, I think I did mention because when we made this one, I had said about putting the little things of chocolate in it, and I did try, and it did work. But I'm looking around and I think I ate it. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's a really good gift to do, right? <laughs> but those are great ideas. So yeah. anything that's small that you could put in, you could put some stuff in there. Yeah. And it, the only challenge is that it can't be too, too thick because then they won't close, right? right? DYI bath salt tea bags. There you go. We've got mm -hmm. some good people thinking here. <laughs> yeah, we do. So, new Christmas idea, all the things that you can put in that. So what a brilliant. You ate the chocolate. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. I did. It's not hard. To I did that. eat the chocolate. We can do that. Yeah. Um, what a great idea. Thank you. That was a cool. One. I remember I saw your picture, but I never looked into what was inside of it. <laughs> well, you couldn't either because, you know, one, you were busy. And two, the uh, it was just a flat photo, right? <laughs> I was watching all the videos online. You get watching them, watching them. <laughs> so I'm just pulling up your page and I'm, I will get there um, to say what your gift was. Or if you know off the hand, then I won't find your page. Your, get your free yeah. Like my Like my everybody yeah. gift is actually the instructions for this. Okay, there you go. Yep, that's what it is. So please, 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 please make sure you put in the coupon code, though. The coupon code. Am I allowed yes. to say it? No, you would have emailed it out, yeah. right? Yeah, it's been it's the coupon codes video? on the page. I did put an email to people to put in the okay. coupon codes. Um, we can't do like you. You have to make sure the coupon codes are in there, but you can claim her gift. And if you are a VIP, Elena's very generously given a thirty percent off your order up to yeah. of seventy five dollars or more. I'm reading this up to seventy five dollars or more. So if you are shopping, go to her shop. Look at what you have. That's a great generous offer. And if I did the math, it's a really good offer. So yes. um, take a look at it. Go see what you have. Elena is in Canada, but that doesn't mean you don't ship out. Mm -hmm. Do you ship outside of Canada? We yeah. do. Yep. We ship We ship all around the world, actually. We shipped uh, one of our first places that we shipped to was uh, Poland. There you wow. go. So although Elena's in Canada, take and for you Americans right now, your Canadian dollar. Buy any Canadian shop will give you a really good value potentially. Right. And just it's don't true. forget if you're ordering online, 
put the VIP or not the VIP, sorry, sorry, the coupon code before coupon you code, check right. out. Yeah. Okay. Yes. If you want your discount, yes. you have to do that. Yep. Yeah. The other thing is that, cause I have gotten a few emails about this, you guys, is that there are exceptions. Okay. We as store owners are actually not allowed to discount more than X number of percent yeah. within three months. Um, some of them it's even four months of release. Mm -hmm. um, Tim Holtz products is one of them. Lawn Fawn is another one. Um, and Cricut as well as Silhouette. Okay. Of course our classes are always, always, excluded from that as well but so yes my disney section i'm thrilled with my <laughs> disney section we're not allowed to call it like this is walt disney section so we have to call it inspired section so yes it is i have we have some diehard disney people that are our customers <laughs> that come through the door so yeah there's a lot of really nice paper in it i agree yeah. oh yeah Ted, <laughs> definitely take advantage of them so thank you for being such a generous offer for the vips and for the other ones so thank you um let us know if you have any questions for elena about her project about other projects about anything going on um we are always open to questions um stop working oh refresh Hit oh, it stopped button. working. I'm like, what stopped working? Is it yeah. telling us to stop working? We would love to stop working. <laughs> We're not sure who WebTalker is. So um, not sure what that is. But if it did oh. stop working, they're not going to see our message. Is there a Care Bear? <laughs> is that a Isn't that amazing? It is not inspired. It is a Care Bear mug. Jeez. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yes. One of our local um, artisans here in town she was doing a blowout and i'm like ah, last thing i need is another mug but i'm looking through anyway and it's like and all of a sudden i saw this peeking out of the sea of white and i was like is that what i think that is <laughs> and yes it was look at that <laughs> aren't they amazing and look 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 they're sleepy bear <laughs> oh. that's cute yeah it's a it's a really big mug like it holds I think it's a, I think it holds 12 ounces. I like a big mug. Which is way, oh, no, no. Mm. I like a big <laughs> That's mug. That's way too much. <laughs> this is my Barbados it's mug, funny. but I like a big mug. Nice. It's from Barbados. Nice. But it's like, yeah, I prefer a big mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sister does too. I prefer something that's not too heavy. I can hold it. <laughs> so yes, this is my Care Bear mug. <gasps> oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> With, I would die for a strawberry shortcake. Oh, she's my absolute favorite. <laughs> now you know, if you yeah. find one, you gotta get a land. Oh, please, please send me the link, email me the link. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making me yes. feel old. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I actually, Tracy, Jesus. I'm old enough that these things are not resonating with me. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not resonating because me, it's like, oh, that's my sister, you know? And that's not even my sister. That's my niece. I'm yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do know what strawberry shortcake is. I do know what all this stuff is, but definitely not my generation. There you go. Oh, that's good. Well, but hey, at least you know what it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you're right. You said Halloween. Your I didn't know what all these kids were. I was like, what are these characters? Oh, yeah. There's some of them that are. <laughs> Yeah. Boxes that you oh, like a yes. Yes, it was. I remember that. <laughs> yes. All of these. Yeah. Strawberry shortcake. Had, hers was a picnic basket. And um, in yes, it was. I agree. It was metal. It was beautiful. My all of my mugs here at the store. We excuse me. We do monthly crops and we we have monthly crops, I should say. And all of my mugs are different. None of them are the same. And we have a Batman mug and we have a um, thing one mug and we have, um, what else? There's this Dalek. There's a, there's actually three teacups is what it is. And it's from Alice in Wonderland. So it's actually one cup, but it looks like a stack of three cups, three teacups. I mean, <laughs> um, there's, what else was, oh, one of my favorite ones is, um, the TARDIS and then we have a mug that's the shape of a cloud and the handle is a rainbow and it's got a little smiley face on it that's very reminiscent of Doodlebug. Mm -hmm. Neat. <laughs> there you go we have to do a road trip there you go road trip to do a crop yeah. but <laughs> Alana's place there where is the shop yeah. located? So we are located in southwestern Ontario we are in Listowel, Ontario 
And we have, if you actually, if you look at the map of Southwestern Ontario, there's a highway that runs this way along the shore, along from Kitchener Waterloo to, I want to say Godrich area, Kincardin, Kincardin, that's where it is, Kincardin. And there's a jog in the highway. <laughs> that's where Listful is. That is our well, How far is Listful and it is from a the U.S.? Significant jog. Pardon? How far is Listful from the U.S. border? Um, two hours. Okay. okay. And that'd be more from yeah. Niagara or from Windsor? Nope, to Sarnia. Sarnia. Okay, that's what I was wondering what, yeah, what Sarnia is better. Yeah. Okay. So I don't even understand yeah. this because I, I don't know what Tardish is, but Tardish what? And I don't know how you... No. Tard it's pronounced Tardis. Tardis. <laughs> And it is a, uh, it is, it's a reference from Doctor Who. It is his time travel device. Okay. It's his spaceship. I do know what Doctor travels. Who is. I don't, I've never watched it, but I. So it is, it's his blue box. Okay. I can do that. There. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me context. I'm like, I kind of know what that part is. I don't know what, I'm obviously not up on pop, pop. Yep. Pop. I can't even say not that. Like, pop culture. <laughs> pop culture. <laughs> can't say that today. Um. <laughs> doing that. So any questions for Lana or for us? Think pink, pink, pink phone, phone booth. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I know what it is now when you say Dr. Who. Yeah. His mm -hmm. blue box. Or her blue box. The madman with the blue box. Hasn't there been her Dr. Who's? I don't know. I love. I have two. Pardon? You said, hasn't there been a, her, a female Dr. Who in the? There has, yeah. as well as a black man. Yes. Yep. They've moved it around. Dr. Who changes, which is odd. But hey, not up to this stuff no, at all. He, at all. I would not be up he to really, Doctor Who at all if my niece wasn't up to not the niece who's coming over. My other niece was up to Doctor Who. But um, I have two sonic screwdrivers. I do know what that is, actually. Maybe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all these things, all these pop cultures. Yes, one female last season. See, I'm learning. I know. One <laughs> um, from your shop, what's the, what do you ah, have a question for you, shop owners? And you're going to go, Heather, that's tough. What do you think the next trend is? What's coming the down? Next, actually, the, the bus right now is still on the better press. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is, that's still very, very big right now. Um what actually is really amazing is that even though Spellbinders is who put out the better press machine, there are other companies who are creating better press plates, which will work in the machine, which to me is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I'm really looking forward to, I think it's, no, I'm not going to say because I can't remember for sure, but there is, a, there are a few companies that have come out with a few better press or while well, they're calling them letterpress plates and they are, they're phenomenal. They're absolutely amazing because it's not spellbinder style, mm -hmm. right? It's more. And what I love as well is that you can actually use your hot foil plates yes. in the better press machine. Now you have to do it right or you will void your warranty. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind before you just like, Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. But you'll do a video for us and, you know, show people one day. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. Well, I prefer to do it in store, actually. <laughs> I prefer to see the problem. The, the problem with the better press is that it doesn't matter how close or how good your video is. You will never fully appreciate it until you have it mm -hmm. in hand. You cannot see how deep the, the debossing yes. actually is. Well, Suzette has a better and press machine. She hasn't gotten out of the box yet. So you got to try that. Oh, I met Suzette a little earlier. Mm -hmm. So you have to try your better press machine. <laughs> yeah, you do. It has a, ze it has a zero learning curve. <laughs> it is the flattest learning curve of any machine I have ever experienced in my life. And I have used a lot of machines. I'm embarrassed to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the better press machine is, is the trend. There you go. Um, mm -hmm. Those top foil plates are too thick to be used in the better press. I'd love to see how you're doing the foil plates with the better press system. Yeah, you have to take out your shims. Yeah, you have to take out your shims. Okay, so in the bottom of the better press machine, there, so in the better press machine, I mean, there's the magnetic plate that pops out and there's actually three shims underneath it you need to take those out and then you'll be able to use your glimmer plates or your hot foil plates so there is a trick of the day for those who have better press machines right <laughs> 
So excellent. What is a better press machine? See, there you go. Me not being a paper crafter. What does it do? It is <laughs> It is a machine that will deboss ink into paper. Okay. Is the short answer. <laughs> okay. That is what people might ask. Do you dare want to try and explain nope. deboss ink? So debossing mm -hmm. is so is the opposite of embossing, right? So when you deboss something, you're actually pushing it into the paper, where when you emboss something, it is now raised above paper. the paper, right? With mm -hmm. me? Yep, hills and valleys. So when you're debossing with ink, you're inking up, you're putting ink on a plate, and then you put your paper on it, and it pushes it onto the plate, which creates the debossed effect, leaving the ink on the paper. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Neat, eh? And so that's used both in scrapbooking cool. and card making. Yeah, it is very cool. Debbie says, okay, yes, I may try you're that right, Debbie. Denzel said not to use yep. the glitter plates. So Denzel said that because they didn't know yet. They didn't know if the glimmer plates would handle it or if they would live up to it because the glimmer plates as well as the foil plates, you they, they have a special coating on them, okay? But this is why I'm saying, you know, you, you got to make sure because they, it will void your warranty, really is what it comes down to. You can do it, but it will void your warranty. How long is your warranty on for? Usually yeah. a year. <laughs> so if you're making older than a year, it doesn't matter. Right, exactly. So yeah. something to think about, Debbie, if your machine is over a year. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. And you can foil your bread or press plates as well. That is something that you can do as well, um, which is, I mean, the bigger the plate, the more time it takes to heat. Um, foiling, I have found that it does have a learning curve. It's not super steep, but it's definitely there. You have to have the right paper. You have to have the right temperature of your, your plate has to be the right temperature. Excuse me. There's, oh yeah, there, I agree, Debbie. <laughs> I love foiling as well. The fine lines are just oh. phenomenal. Yeah. They're really beautiful. Well, and that's good for, I mean, when you're sharing this stuff for people, I think it's great to see that you don't have to just use your stuff in that one place that you can find creative yeah, ways. Exactly. Because oh, what yeah. I'm gathering from all of this is, as you guys know, I'm not the scrapbooker of this duo is you're investing a lot of money in what you're doing, right? <laughs> yeah. And so the more you can reuse and be creative with the machines and the tools that you're buying mm -hmm. and using up your scraps and doing stuff, that's all the better for you. Might make you more addictive to something else, I'm yeah. gathering. But <laughs> And we do want you to still buy because, you know, the scrapbooking shop and Tracy need mm -hmm. you to still buy. But at the same time, you know, being able, and I love the fact that you are, a shop that tells people how to best use their machines in the most, you know, dynamic ways that you can. So, wow. I am. Um, I hate being limited. Mm -hmm. My husband hates that I hate that, but I hate being limited. I hate it. I. I just. I want to be able to use all of the things, however I want to use them, in every way possible. I am going to use simple stories, and I'm going to use Echo Park, and I'm going to use Sizzix stuff, and I'm going to use them all together on one project mm -hmm. yeah. because the colors are close enough that I love the way they look together. So it just, it drives me nuts when some people are, oh, well, I, I can only use Lawn Fawn, mm -hmm. or I can only use... I'm like, well, no, <laughs> no, you, you you don't have to. Totally understand. It's so like, you, yeah, right. you can take a pack of paper yeah. out of that pack and another one out of that line. And yes, they can go together. And you totally and do. Then, yeah, you want your like, money's have... worth out of things too, like exactly. machines and that. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. I have a, someone on Facebook loves your tea, is a tea lover in their families, including me. So glad for your tutorial. Thank you. You're very welcome. And then Susan asks, is, do you have... Do you have a cheat sheet for all these settings or is it just a learning curve for each plate? For the settings of the the plate or the better press probably is what she's asking. Press. Well the better press doesn't really you you don't there isn't a learning curve. Like there's no when you're when you're hot foiling, it's literally a you're gonna see if it works or not. Um, hot foiling is very similar to Cricut Design Space. If you don't use it, 
you will not remember how. You have to use it in order to know, right? So your experience comes from use of it. Um, the more you use it, the better you're going to get. That's true. That's true of many things, true. isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is true. The more we use it, the better we get at them. So very true of most of the things that we have out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had a designer who, sorry, I just saw the comment that somebody else loves mixing products. We had a, we have a designer now, I should say, which is so exciting to say. We, uh, we just celebrated our fifth, well, we're five and a half years old now here in Listowel, and we, we finally have a designer. And uh, she, she, thank you, she loves Lawn Fawn. Well, then she discovered some, um, we had gotten a, a vendor's kit is what it's called. And in it, of course, were all these um, dyes from Spellbinders. So I handed it to her because it's literally a bag full of dyes. Like there's no name to it. There's no, like, we have no idea what this mm -hmm. thing is. It, there's a code to it, but it's not even listed yet on their website. So it's not even like I could go and look and see, <laughs> oh, it's a snowman. No idea. So I handed it to her and I said, here, mix this with your lawn fawn stuff. And she comes back with this amazing card because apparently in it were um, like greenery and there was a frame in it. And yeah, it was, she did a great job. It was really cool. Good. <laughs> yeah. So mixing across lawn fawn and spellbinders and Sizzix and bring them all in. So Debbie J, who is one of our speakers tomorrow, says for hot foiling some depends on the system i use the gemini foil system and you had to keep a cheat sheet for all the things haven't needed to use the glitter system gotcha so it depends on i don't you know that the better press will work in the glimmer machine or in the the gemini i mean i don't know that i don't think it does correct me if i'm wrong okay. debbie but the the bigs dies they do not fit mm. in the Gemini, correct? Because if the bigs dies won't fit, then neither will the better press. Okay, so they're like that, eh? Okay. Yeah, that could be. So I'll try and don't force anything. That would be a good piece yeah. of advice. No. Don't force anything. That gets no. you into trouble. If I really want to make this fit, I'll keep forcing it. That gets you into trouble. No, take away a shim. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they don't work yeah. in the Gemini Junior. In Gemini Junior. Okay, then yeah, then the better press won't work either. Either. So, excellent. Well, any other questions for us? For I can't think anymore. <laughs> I'm like, who am I talking well, to now? I hope everybody's been having a great time. I think so. I know that. Yeah, it's a. We all work super hard on those videos, so <laughs> <laughs> getting lots of good. They're getting lots of views. So it's funny. It's like I said. I think there's just a lot going on, and people are doing things, but they're getting tons of views, and that's really what's important. I see you have the Eye Cutter Pro desk plates on your site. Do you prefer the Spellbinder over the Eye Crafter? Yes and no. So the Spellbinders is a I like their system and I like I I like the Spellbinders universal system but the but I do like the the Pro Cro uh eye crafter plates because it's a solid magnet. So that's I love that. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> it's nice it's a little bit fatter than the um, than the regular plates. So you actually don't need the adapter plate. And um, when you're using it with a big shot, at least anyway, so you just layer it and then put your paper down, your die down, your other mat, and then run it through the machine and it, it cuts things really nicely. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I love you guys, your expressions when you talk about your favorite toys. <laughs> I know tools, not toys. Tools. <laughs> All right. I don't mind calling them toys. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> it must be yep. it must be hard to have a passion and then have your shop there and you have every toy you want, but you can't necessarily have every toy you want. It's it's a hit and miss actually because like there's some things that like I'm not a stamper. So it's that's really hard for me when 
like people will come in and they'll be like, oh, can I use this? I'm like, it's cool. You absolutely should. And I'll see these beautiful stamps. But I'm like, cool, it's a stamp. <laughs> like, and it so this is... <laughs> This is another reason why I was thrilled when, when now that I have this designer is because they, she, like, she loves to stamp, which is great because, <laughs> like I said, I don't. It is interesting on that because Kat, when Catherine Pooler was on, it's like, I love to stamp. I'm hooked to stamp. And you can yeah. see the joy she has in stamping. And right. then you get to, oh, stamping, which is why even one. Right. It yeah. just, there are things that I would rather do. Mm -hmm. Like, I would rather cut paper and I would rather, like, right now I'm working on the the holiday album or the our daily december like this is what i love to do i love to make mini albums yeah and so this is what i'm working on right now it's pretty Whoop. i totally understand that <laughs> <laughs> right so mm -hmm. could you stamp in here absolutely but given the option i would much rather like ink it up or i would much rather put paste through a stencil and put paste all over it like or foil <laughs> yeah. it with the tacky when dry like i did that in that like, actual actual album <laughs> i just like, right? yeah yeah like i've got mm -hmm. i've got a green one kicking around here that the entire outside of it is um it is golden snowflakes like it's it's phenomenal and i love it so very nice Thanks. Um, question from they are cost. Yes, I just sorry. I see the question now. Uh, yes, they are cost effective. They are, but they do have like they're not cheap. So your initial upfront cost is very big, but over time it definitely pays for itself because you're not replacing the plastic plates as often. And when you get when you have the plastic plates, yes, they come in a two pack, but now you have two tops. So you use the iCrafter plate on the bottom and it's self-mending. So it never, it, it, in theory, it never needs replacing, right? And so um, Debbie shared that, oops, I think the iCrafter is for die cutting, glitter yes. is just for pop and the specific plates for an account. So, and that's lots of great yes. knowledge and information here, so. Yes, definitely reach out and do that. What's that one? Yes, it was referred to the machine itself. So she's talking about the machine itself. So yeah. Yeah, the, gl yeah, the glimmer machine. Um, as we're right. So excellent. All of these toys and machines, do you guys need another house? Another are you going to buy this one? No. <laughs> do you have it. to have a, like a, a she shop, like you need your scrapbooking rooms and your, mm -hmm. your she, she, I can't talk. <laughs> she, she, oh, there's and, people and, who uh, have those. Oh yeah. I, I saw it. a woman recently who like, you should see what, what she has. And it's literally, it's not even a shed. It's a whole other building on her property. And <laughs> oh, it's yeah. nice. It's like, Oh my God, <laughs> really? It's wooden floors. Like it's so nice. And I'm like, oh. I would like to have a crafting room too. Right now it's all spread over the place. Cause it's also light. I could build one in my basement, but there's no light. So it's like, I don't want to do that. Ooh, see, that's when you install the lighting that you want. Yes. Well, right now I have a crafting table right beside my door, but I haven't done anything with it in a while. <laughs> no? Uh, have you been busy? Been a little busy. Yeah, just a little busy. <laughs> First, instead of my coffee table and my dining Right now, yeah. my <laughs> For various reasons, my house is a disaster right now. And I am on my dining room <laughs> table. I haven't been up in my office. I've got stuff everywhere. It's like, yeah, okay. Life happens, right? Just do Life it. Life happens. Life happens, and that's exactly it. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, yes, we all work where we can. I have, a, I have a Zoom area, is what is what. I don't know if you guys. So you guys remember The Simpsons, right? Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it's still on. And there's this one episode where uh, Marge and Lisa get um, held up in Canada for some reason. So they're zooming with Homer and Bart, and. She's all like, well, I'm glad to see that you guys are doing well. The place looks really nice and clean. You know, that's, you know, I hope you guys are eating. And then it pans over to their side. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're doing great. And it lifts up. The camera mm -hmm. lifts up. And you can see behind them, there's this area that's marked off with caution tape. And it says Zoom. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so that's like the Zoom camera. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, all of my tables over behind the camera are <laughs> it's, it's receiving bomb yeah. is what it looks like. <laughs> like Debbie, Debbie has a desk in our computer Florida room, which is also my husband's office. He says I can't have a craft room because he would never see me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That can happen too. It can be addictive. It's like, yes, but it's making it accessible. It comes back to that. Is it accessible? Can you do it? Can you have fun? Yes. Can you craft? So given that you run a craft store, what's the question we have about to I ask do. you? Given that you've run a craft store, you live and breathe scrapbooking. What do you do outside of that? What do you do for fun that isn't related to scrapbooking? Yeah, but this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I, what else do I do? Um, no pressure. That was somebody else's question. So if you don't want to answer. No, no, it's all good. It just, because uh, I do consider this fun. Like I really do. Um, my challenge right now actually is that uh, my, my, personal life is rather my home life. I shouldn't say my personal life. I'm doing great, you guys. But my my home life is very upheaval right now. So I don't get to do my scrapbooking or I don't get to do the fun stuff as much. Um, I like to read as well. Actually, I love to read. And I, but I read, I read to escape and I I know that. So I read a lot of like sci-fi and fantasy and things like that. Like if it's something that's happening today's world. Oh, I'm the same as you. I don't, I don't want to read. I can't, I never understand wanting to read um, like uh, autobiographies like and stuff like that. I want to no. read total fiction. I'm with you. Well, it's funny because I, I do on the flip side of that, I do in, I like, I love to read uh, self-help books mm -hmm. actually. But those, I think I treat them more as like learning, yeah. right? So I've got like highlighters that I use and I've got ink and I've got <laughs> underlines and notes on the sides. And meanwhile, my sci-fi and fantasy books, with the exception of my absolute favorite one that I have two copies of for a reason, <laughs> uh, they, they like, yeah, they're pristine. <laughs> I'm like, that. I, I can't highlight a book. I don't know if I just get, I can't write in a book. It's like, no. I love yeah. paper. Prefer I, I paper back, but much more prefer to read a real book than an online book. I'll, I mean, yeah. when I used to travel a lot, the thought of an online book would have been amazing because I used to carry like three right. pocket books with me and whatever. But nope. so I see the value of it. But if I'm reading at home, I like a real book. Oh, yeah, me too. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like a real book. Um, yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for coming to the crops and doing that. And thank you for your oh, generosity and your gifts. Um, I read whatever looks good at the time. Sometimes it's just whatever has the best picture on the cover. It's yeah, I've been so there too. True. I've been there too. Yeah, it's so true. <laughs> yeah. Um, but reading yeah. is a great thing to, to distract yourself yeah. from everything else. So thank you so much, Alana, for being here. Um, I love to read, but most days I listen to my audio. I love audiobooks too. So I oh. do audiobooks when driving I, as well. I don't. I don't. I find them way too distracting. <laughs> especially when I'm driving. Like when I'm driving, I know. Yeah. The next thing I know, I'm like, I just, how did I get here? <laughs> audiobooks actually, when I drive, keep me more alert. I get more sleepy really? listening to music yeah. than I would an audiobook. I get um, into the story yeah. and I'm listening to it and I love it. I listen to audiobooks on a timer when I go to bed. So they're on for 15 minutes. And then I, if I, if I want to listen to more, I can reset it. But most of the time I fall asleep before the 15 minutes are up. But um, it depends on who reads the audiobook. We could go whole thing, but who it really depends oh, on the awesome. reader, on, on the narrative, yes. narrator, the actors yes. actually, because a lot of them are actors. So um, I love audiobooks by crafting. Yeah, that would be good. Too. Yeah, Miss, but I just yeah. saw that too. That yeah, there's, and I'm, oh, that was another question that I get asked a lot actually is if, do you listen to something while you're crafting right. or are you, or do you not? And I don't. Like if I'm in here, like if I'm at the store all by myself, there's no music, the door's locked. There's no YouTube video going on, nothing. It's just me and my brain because it's ridiculously loud in there. So here's a good question for both of you, which is, is the pricing different on products if purchased at your store from the US and shipped? So is there? I want to say yes. And probably because, well, if you're Canadian, it'll be different because you're now having to convert yeah. but this is someone buying from the US, us for you to ship same thing it just depends i mean the us dollar right now is really strong against the canadian dollar so i'd price it in us it dollars and then price it in canadian dollars and remember your credit card to adds extras and takes extra away so it's not exactly the same exchange rate mm -hmm. if you google it but 
Um, yeah. I will say PayPal is more, if you're paying through PayPal, they're a little bit more greedy <laughs> <laughs> in their exchange rate. Um, credit cards can come and go, it just depends, but there is differences. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. always just do a bit of comparison shopping, but know your exchange rates and it fluctuates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Hi, Janice. <laughs> so thank you so much again. We really appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow. So your recordings are there if you're in the free and if you're in the VIP package, mm -hmm. you have access to them. We will be back tomorrow with um, six more amazing people. Five. 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 Don't scare me. Well, we got six presentations, five lives. That's oh, cool. yes. Yes. Sorry. I'm doing Q and a. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, good to know yeah. about PayPal. Yeah, always check your PayPal exchange rates. Sometimes it seems like the easiest way to buy, but also know your credit card mm -hmm. exchange rates. Yeah. How yes. much does your credit card take? Because you can pay through your credit card through PayPal, um, but the exchange is being done by PayPal, not by your credit card. So Correct. just recognize that PayPal can, it's a big difference in what they take. And you can, if you have a PayPal account, you can, you can Google what's PayPal exchange rate at the day and you can see. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's an easy way to pay. It's a very safe way to pay, but there's, they are not yes. the best on their exchange rates. Um, I yeah. still use PayPal. Can, PayPal's expensive. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Us too. We use you can also, excuse me, if you want, we also offer, um, e-transfer payments mm -hmm. or we accept e-transfer payments. I mean, so you're more than welcome in that respect. The, the procedure, if you will, is that you s email us your wish list. I will tally it all up and I will email you an invoice. Then you can e-transfer me the total and let me know, of course, if you want it to be shipped or not. We do offer free shipping in Ontario over $120. So yes, e-transfer is a Canadian is... thing. Americans won't know what that is. So that's okay. <laughs> well, that's yes, they, they have yeah. another system that they use, which we don't have access to. So when you're going cross border, you're pretty much in credit cards. And yeah, then it's a little different, but but you can always do that yeah. as well. Yeah, it's just, to, you know, it's consumer beware. Always know what your credit cards are doing because credit cards do take a, a percentage for using foreign currency. Um, but do. still, PayPal is probably the least generous of it. So, But as a business, if you, you joined and you bought the VIP and you paid PayPal, we do that because it makes life easier for you. So it's not, uh, nope. not knocking PayPal. I think it's open doors for people, but it's just be aware of what you're doing in shopping that. So again, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank we have you. six presenters tomorrow, five presentations. Aaron from today will be on tomorrow. Um, and we're so excited. It's been such a great experience. We've had some great Aww. conversations thank today. Anna, thank you for participating and for being in our. And if there's anything else that I can help with, okay. then you know, reach out. My my email address is the scrapbookshopca at gmail.com. There you go. And yeah. great customer service from Alana at the Scrapbooking Shop. Awesome. And someone else is selling it. for you. <laughs> Have watched you in the past and always wondered the exchange stuff. Yeah, it changes so much. The exchange rate is it's fluctuates. It's fluctuating a lot right now. So actually, for Americans, your dollar is a lot stronger right now against the Canadian dollar. Yeah. So if this is the time to take advantage of that, you may yeah. find you get a really good thing. But it can happen. <laughs> Debbie, we will see you tomorrow because Debbie's going to be one of our presenters tomorrow. And I, I don't know what time you're live with us tomorrow, Debbie. But remember, <laughs> there's a time zone change. <laughs> one. Yes. Debbie's at one. Debbie's at one, which would... At least it's backwards. So if people come on early, we can tell them come back. In an hour. Yes, it's true. Come back in an hour. So yeah, remember yeah. that. And yeah. we will see everybody tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye. Have great. fun, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.